Hey, good morning, guys. I just wanted to upload a quick little video. I decided to take a little walk this morning and try to look. Got my little Barbie shirt on. Said I wanted to look like a doll today. And I'm uploading this video, guys, because I couldn't know. I didn't know if I wanted to title this um, the eighth mile. And I was thinking about Paul, the Apostle Paul. And when I was thinking about the eighth mile, and I was thinking about the Apostle Paul, it's it's just amazing to me how people would try to use what happened in your past or try to use your current situation to make it, you know, like um, to use it as a weapon against you. <laughs> and see, when you've been changed and when God has called you to do something new, they don't understand it. What I do, guys, I, I deal with my dolls. I've been doing this for a long time. And I just decided that I didn't want to deal with drama no more because I had a Facebook page. I was posting my dolls up on Facebook. People had something to say about that. I talked about my dolls. Folks had something to say about that. So I decided that I was going to delete my Facebook page and, you know, just stop worrying about the world and just commune with God like I'm doing right now because I decided to walk. And I'm going to be walking back up and down my street, guys. So by me doing that, I decided that I wanted to do, I wanted to help young mothers because I was a young mother. I wanted to help teenage moms. What I found out is that when you're trying to help somebody and you tell them truth because what you say to them don't make them feel good they get mad and they get angry all i'm just trying to tell the young mothers is a baby ain't never kept no man get yourself together and take care of your child if it's meant to be it's meant to be here come but if he ain't gonna come just move on but these young mothers don't want to hear that they don't want to hear the truth so what they'll do is they'll go kind of search you search you search out about your life then want to try to say, oh, it's something wrong with you and this and that. And, and when they searching out your life, they'll come and attack your family. They'll slither their way in. That's how the enemy does. He'll use people to get into somebody in your family that's weak to try to attack you. Now, all my life, I have been going to church. I have been going to church from Sunday to Sunday. Okay, guys, I have caught the Holy Ghost. I have ran around the church because the church have told me things like, oh, God is this and God is that. And I believe what they say. So now because of what the church has taught me, I ask God, God, reveal yourself to me. Reveal truth unto me. Show me truth so that I can do your will so that I won't make a mistake to heaven the Father because I'm trying to get on the other side. Now, since God started revealing stuff to me and showing stuff to me, now all of a sudden I'm a soothsayer, I'm a witch, I'm this and I'm that, and you're trying to figure out what I'm what I'm doing when all I'm doing is uploading videos for my dog. Now let's go back to the green mile. Not the green mile, I'm sorry, the eighth mile with Eminem in there. Now it was between Eminem and this other rapper. The other rapper had a particular flow, a particular style that he was using. Now what he was doing was he was always trying to get information about the people he was rapping against. So he sent out his little friends and little imp to find out where they live, about their family members, just any kind of dirt he can get. Then when it came time to rap, he going to use this, and this is how he won his opponent. So Eminem got understood and found out the trick that he was using so Eminem was like okay then well let me beat you to the front i'm gonna tell him about myself because i know more about me than you do so when Eminem started beginning to rap and started telling about himself then the guy he ain't had nothing to say i ain't, I ain't got a lot to, i ain't got a lot of nobody when I, call, when, when I say I'm helping you young mothers or I'm trying to help young mothers that's exactly what I'm trying to do but see when you get caught up in a lie then that's when you want to sit up here and do attack. You ain't got to attack me. What you attacking me for? Because God revealed stuff to me. Guys, I don't, when I when I say like, like stuff that goes on, I don't get into nobody's business. When people talk about me and say I'm crazy, I say, 
Okay, they say I'm crazy. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. If they believe I'm crazy, okay, well, you say I'm crazy. So I remove myself away from them. If you talking and when I come around and you whispering, what you whispering for? And then when I come around, you stop talking. What you stop talking for? So what I said is I can't control what nobody do. I can't control what nobody say. So let me just move myself out the way because as a grown woman, we we, we shouldn't be up here whis uh, whispering and, and closing our mouth with somebody else come around. I thought we was grown. But okay then, well, since that's happening, let me move myself out the way because I respect you so much that you, I, I respect you that, I, let me, let me move myself out the way because I don't want you to whisper. I don't want you to stop talking. I want you to talk and I want you to whisper. Maybe some you don't want me to know about and that's okay. So let me move myself out the situation. Now, since I moved myself out of the situation, then it here go, well, where's Jamaica at? Jamaica at home. Y'all see where I'm at right now? I'm uploading my dolls. Y'all was talking about me. Y'all thought it was crazy. That's your opinion. And that's and that's what like with the Apostle Paul. When when Jesus came to Paul and revealed himself to Paul, and Paul changed his life, he go to church for oh where he used to be, he used to be. That's what I used to be. I ain't that way no more. Paul knew about the folks. That's just like me going to the club. If I'm sitting up here going to the club and going out all the time and partying and doing all this sin with these folks, don't you think I know more about them than, than you do? Cause you in the church, you ain't been out there. How you gonna minister to somebody, minister to somebody out in the street when you ain't even been out in the street? You don't even know what they're going through. But Paul knew. Jesus knew. That's why he revealed himself to Paul. Cause he was like, okay, well, Paul, you. This is my interpretation. Of, okay, well, Paul, you been with these sinners. You been out here with them. Let me change you and show so they'll know that I am real. Child, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. So that's why, if for those who are wondering, I deleted the video um, that I had about Brenda's got a baby. Because what it's doing is, when you when I uploaded the video about Brenda's got a baby and how it's affecting the community, what I have found out is, when you start talking about stuff like that, then it, people take it personal because they didn't been through some in their families. So the reason why the community is messed up is because people homes are messed up. That's what that is. And they don't want y'all to know that they, they house messed up. My house messed up. I ain't ashamed to say, say it. I'm trying to get stuff together. I got adult children and grandchildren. Some grandchildren I, I don't see. Well, if I don't see the grandchildren, it's because the mamas don't want them to come over here for whatever reason. They can go out there and say what they want to say, but they won't tell you. People will tell you half the story. I ain't, I'm just a regular citizen, a regular person like everybody else. That's all I am. But I just wanted to tell y'all about the movie, The Eighth Mile. Now, the, um, um, is it the eighth mile? Yeah, the eighth mile. Make sure you watch that. And and when you watch the movie, watch the movie and see what I'm talking about. People gonna take dirt on you and try to use that as a weapon. The Bible said, "No weapon formed against me shall prosper." So when you come and trying to come to, with me with tricks and all of this, I came outside to walk up and down the street. First of all, I need to walk. I need to breathe some fresh air. I need. I need that. Yeah, I'm out of shape. I can speak on myself because I know me. So when a situation happens, I move myself. I move myself out the way. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do the giveaway. I'm gonna do two giveaways. I'm gonna do one for uh, a female doll, and I'm gonna do one for a male doll. I'm gonna do the giveaway because what I see right now, when you're trying to help people, some people don't want to be helped. And and my channel and my platform is for those who want to be helped. Not the ones who don't want to be helped, who's playing, who's lying, and get caught in their game. Get caught, I'm sorry, get caught up in their mess. All of a sudden now, when I when I say to somebody, I don't feel I just get excuses. I don't need no excuses. Either it's truth or it's false. That's it. That's it. And see, what has happened is you done got caught up in a lie. And then you what you're doing is I'm talking about how the enemy uses people in your family. He, he slithered his way in to people, the weakest link. 
you are the weakest link. That's how kingdoms fail. Because somebody in the family then, then is weak and they allowed the enemy to come in and, and, and use them. And they didn't even know they was being used. I got no reason to lie. Because what, what, what you going to tell a lie for? We are in, this is 2022, guys. It's no time for lying because the truth going to be revealed. A veil is unveiling. What, what you going to lie for? Why you gonna tell? Why you gonna sit up here and tell a lie? Cause what, what's happening is God gonna come back and guys, God gonna come back so quick and reveal it. I didn't had people just to lie up in my face. I asked them a question. I thought we was cool like that. That so I asked a question. The only reason why I asked you that question because I thought you was cool. Then you say no, and then when I start speaking truth to you, you say, "Oh well, I did this," but you just told me you didn't. What was the purpose of you lying? What kind of spirit you got in you? What kind of spirit do, do you have in you? Do you have the spirit of God? Or do you have the spirit of the enemy? The enemy is out here trying to create. This is all this stuff that's going on in the world is because the enemy is doing it. He's being exposed. And he's attacking God's children because they speak in truth. They're using their channels. They're using their platforms to tell folks, hey, wake wake up. I was about to cuss. Excuse me. He, he using people's channels to tell people, wake up. Open your eyes. I told y'all, open up your spiritual eye. I even, I upload the video to tell y'all, some people just ain't going to like you. So, to I want to say to my dog community, I apologize. Continue to upload your videos. Continue, if you want to buy your dog or got dog on um, remote control car, Buy your dollar remote control car. Because these young mothers, they don't, they don't know what they want. Some of them and not all of them. There's some people out here right now really need some help. So what I'm saying is, God, move all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Move all these fake, phony young mothers out of my life who are hindering the, the ones who need help. I, I'm trying to reach the ones who genuinely need some help. But all these other ones that's out here lying, Lord, remove them out of my life because they don't know you. And to the ones who don't know Jesus, I, I, I really recommend you get to know Jesus. I really uh, recommend you get to, uh, you start asking him into your heart so that you can be changed and you can be converted. Because if not, you're going to get left behind. You saw that movie, Left Behind, huh? The Great Tribulation. You didn't see that movie? You need to watch that movie because, see, the devil ain't playing. But God needs some warriors. I ain't finna be weak and sit up here and go through all, all this. No, I said, let me let me look like a barber. Even if you think I don't look like a barber, I'm going to look like a barber today. Anyway, it is a beautiful day, guys. So, I just wanted to upload this video. It's no drama. No. I don't deal with drama. I deal with life. But see, like when Paul, when Paul and these apostles and these church, these folks come and try to tell y'all the truth, y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all didn't want to hear about it. Yeah, it was some people that was genuinely, for the people who liked that um, video that I did about Brenda's Got a Baby, thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. A lot of people didn't come in. I know it brought in a lot of little imps that wanted to see what was going on. But the whole point of it is, what I'm telling y'all is, people houses ain't right. People houses ain't right. That's how it's affecting the community. And their houses ain't right. Why? It's because we out of line with God. We we ain't raising our, our families up on biblical principles. That's what happened with me. Yeah, that's what happened with me. But I asked God to change me. I asked God to change my husband. Now my husband ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. But I'm asking God daily to renew me a new thing. New daily. I have to pray for my adult kids because they sit up here and watching stuff out on TV. What you trying to sit up here and watch somebody out on TV? It's jobs all out here. I don't care if you got to work at McDonald's. It's a start. These folks begging folks to work here in my state of Alabama. But you want to hustle. Continue to hustle. Continue to struggle. Because that's what you want to do. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm in my 40s. I don't, I don't have to put up with no, no mess. When you get I done got to the point right now, if you don't like me, okay, then you don't like me. That's 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 you. But uh, you don't like me, so if you don't like me, I'm not going to come around you. It ain't about me being scared or running or nothing like that. I, that's respect. I respect you. People don't even realize when they being respected. 
Because you're so used to drama and you're so used to malice and all of this mess that you decided that, oh, okay, you want to keep up more mess. Jamaica don't come around because, uh, God, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a highly spiritually empath. I feel your vibe. I feel your energy. But you want to suck all of my energy out. No, you spiritual vampires. God, God, God shows me stuff. He want, he, he, you, I asked Jesus to come in my heart. He, a spirit of discernment. That's what I learned in church. That's what I asked for. See, I'm asking for gifts like that. I ain't asking for no Brahmin bag. I ain't asking for no uh, Michael Kors bag. I'm asking for, give me spiritual gifts. Give me a spirit of discernment. Give me a spirit of faith. Give me a spirit of boldness. Give me a spirit of meekness. I'm asking God for, for, for those type of gifts. Anyway, guys. Now, look, come on. I'm talking to my little dog. So, today is a beautiful day. I, uh, my house is a house of peace. To the ones who watch this video and whatever motives you got, to God bless you. Return back to sender. Return back to sender. Any negative energy that comes towards this video, any negative views, I return that back to uh, the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The holy archangels continue to uh, uh, protect me, fight uh, among those demonic demons, those demonic weapons that I can't see that's trying to attack me. Fight on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, I don't have that much longer, guys. I'm going to upload another video because I'm spending time with my grandbabies today. The ones who want to be around me. I'm spending time with my grandbabies today. Life goes on. You can't, everybody ain't going to like you. That's just it. And I understand. And, 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 and even though people don't like you, you got to still smile. You got to respect them. That's, that's God gave everybody a free will. Everybody ain't going to like you. Everybody didn't like Jesus. Everybody didn't like the apostles. You think you want to be liked. Everybody ain't going to like you. Some people that's following you, following you because they hate you. Don't y'all think in the multitude of people was following Jesus, some of the people who were following Jesus, they were spies to go back and tell what he was doing? How, how, how they knew all that stuff that Jesus was doing? Somebody was going back telling him, oh, he did. In the end, telling the truth. Sitting up here saying, well, what is he doing? He doing, oh, he said he the son of God. He the son of God. He is God and he is this and he's that. Somebody got mad. Somebody got mad about that. Jesus wasn't bothering nobody. He was out there healing the sick. They got mad about that. They got mad. Anyway, guys, y'all have a wonderful morning. I'm running out of breath now because I can't see. Somebody said, see, I told you she was out of shape. Yeah, I am. Somebody say something truthful about you. Is it true? Is it true? If it ain't true, then let it go. Let, let it go. Some people say, well, I, uh, this is what my son said to me. He said, well, I have a right to defend myself. Okay, you got a right to defend yourself. But why would you keep putting yourself on the battlefield to be attacked? Sometimes, why don't you just move off the battlefield? They can't fight the chip if you ain't on the battlefield. Don't let you you let these people get power, get control you. That's like if they control you, you a what? You a puppet. You don't let them get power over you. That's just all it is. Anyway, this is the dog therapy. So um to all those, like I said again, I appreciate you. I'm gonna do the giveaway again, as I stated before. I'm gonna do one for a female dog and one for a male dog. I'm not I'm gonna uh do it. I, the only thing that I was doing researching YouTube policies about guidelines and stuff like that. So I got to go talk to my post office because I, I want to make I want to make the um, I'm sorry for stuttering. I want to make the giveaway really nice. The thing that I'm concerned about really is the shipping costs. So I got to do some more research on that. But it's coming. It's gonna be two. I'm gonna bless bless somebody if you know somebody that need it then that's what we gonna do we gonna help these people these young mothers who who really earnest earnestly need help and need support but to these other mothers out here that's playing games that's trying to uh fake playhouse and all this and tell lies and stuff like that we ain't got time for that mm -mm. and I, when i say fake playhouse that's exactly what i mean 
because y'all don't want no husbands. Y'all just want to be out here because, you know, if you get a husband, you're going to get off government assistance because the government going to be like, okay, when you're married now, he can be a man and take care of the biggest, but y'all don't want that. But see, when I when people tell you stuff like that, you get mad. When people tell you the truth. Because I was on government assistance and I told my landlord I'm going to get married. You know what that man told me? He said, why would you get married and mess up your hood? That's what I was told. I wanted to change my life. If this man stand with me and I got my daughters, I don't want to, I don't want my daughters to be raised up like that. I don't want my daughters to be saying it's a man living with my mom and we ain't married. Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be better. And so soon as I, I, I did not renew my uh, Section 8, what you think happened? My, the, the area that I was staying in, the rent went up $725. He didn't leave. We both worked together and then moved. Because somebody, somebody said, actually, my mom said, well, if you're paying $725 for, for rent, you can go get you a house. And that's what I did. But trying to help y'all. But y'all don't want to see. This is why I say I took the video down because people don't want to know the truth. Guys, look, I'm telling you right now. They don't want to know the truth. They don't want to hear the truth because if you tell them what they got to do to be saved, they don't want that. They want the easy route. You keep on trying to do the easy route. You keep on trying to follow this, uh, the devil. You keep on trying to do these lies and stuff. You're going to be left here. You're going to be dealing with the tribulation. I believe we already in here. But anyway, you're going to be you're going to be left behind. <laughs> no don't nobody want you to know that when you bring this guy to baby they don't want you to know about that they don't want you to know what's going up on in their house these mama don't want you to know these dad don't want you to know these, these folks don't want you to know the truth uh -uh. Uh -uh. that's why the enemy attack oh she out here teach. she out here talking to the truth she out here letting these folks know what's really going on in the community these folks out here been in these houses and then all of a sudden the neighborhood go down I got not. Oh, your area, the area you stay in bad. Yeah, it is bad. But the street that I stay on, thank God, cause see, the street that I stay on, y'all talking about the area bad. But see, then I just, then y'all just see me walking, baby. I didn't know in my street. God bless all my neighbors. From the main road to the end road, cover us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So when the tornadoes came through here, it skipped our road. Somebody out here praying for our communities. Y'all don't want to get the oil and go around and start annoying these neighborhoods, do you? You don't want to do that? Mm-mm. You want chaos. You want killings to continue to happen. No, not on this block. Mm-mm. We want neighborhoods where our children can run up and down the street and play. Y'all have a blessed day. God loves you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bye.